It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be my neighbor? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is Darren L. Harris, and yes, indeed, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And come on here, somebody. Let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about it. Yes, we are now in springtime, and one of the things uh, that I do quite often is read. If you know me, I read a lot, and I tell people all the time, leaders are readers. All the time, leaders are readers. And uh, one of my favorite books to read uh, every spring is this one right here. Uh, I'm not being paid to advertise this book, uh, but it would be nice. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. I'm starting already. Uh, it's called The Hidden Life of Trees. The Hidden Life of Trees, uh, what they feel and how they communicate. Not only can you learn a lot from a dog, but you can learn a lot from a tree. You absolutely can learn a lot from a tree. And so we're going to be talking a little bit about that today on this Come On Here, Somebody. And today we're going to be talking a lot about trees. Yes, not the trees you used to. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. I'm talking about real, real, <laughs> I'm talking about trees. Uh, and one of the things I tell people all the time, it's really important, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, it's really important just to grow where you have been planted. Grow where you have been planted. And that's when one of the things that we can learn from trees. For me, it's just always amazing. Uh, to see what trees are, are used for. Uh, even where they are planted, think about it. You know, they give us oxygen. Um, in exchange, we give them carbon dioxide, but they provide housing for birds. They provide a playground for squirrels. Uh, they provide food, they provide shelter. Come on here, somebody. Trees do a lot. And so uh, I may not be a tree hugger per se, uh, but I know that trees play a significant role, a very significant role. And I want to help somebody today because you've been struggling about your purpose. You've been struggling uh, where you are on life's journey. Uh, and so this is just one of the books that I read because it talks about how trees even communicate. They communicate with each other. Did you know that? Trees talk. Trees have a way of communicating, and one of the greatest misfortunes, one of the hardest things that we have to struggle with in life is communication. It's the number one thing that causes failure in all types of relationships, whether it is a personal relationship, whether it is a business relationship, whether it is a spiritual relationship, it is all communication but we can learn a lot from trees so I want to start there and I want to say that we can just really learn a lot from trees and even on my walk this morning even as I was walking uh, stealth and walking around um, I started to notice just how beautiful all these trees were and, and and they weren't complaining you know the oak tree wasn't complaining about being planted next to the pine tree you know none of them were, were, were complaining they don't complain they just have learned to adapt to adjust and overcome they've learned to grow where they have been planted I even saw where one tree had been knocked over because we had a very uh, hard rain uh, a few days ago but it, it appeared as if there were other trees around him holding, oh, glory to God, I hear something already, that tree that had fallen up, it, they're still holding him up. And, and his roots are still in the ground. It's just that it had almost been uprooted. Oh, glory to God. It had almost been uprooted, but the other trees that were surrounding it kept, it, kept that tree lifted up. We can learn a lot from a tree uh, because there, there's so many times in life where, where there's some of us, we almost get uprooted. And in fact, there, there's some trees, uh, come on here, some of y'all like some trees that are knock it over, uh, but we can learn a lot from a tree. They're holding the other tree up. And I started to, to recognize and, and realize that, that but, but, but what's even deeper than that? Ooh, glory to God, I said deeper. It, it's because it was rooted. 
that's why it's important that we we get rooted that we get grounded because see the strong roots will hold you up that's why you have to have a strong foundation somebody say i gotta get rooted i gotta get rooted so even when the winds of life and the storms of life come if i'm rooted glory to god i can still stand Woo, glory to god that's why not only should you be rooted, but you got to be around some people who will hold you up during those difficult times, during those challenging times. So you got to be surrounded by the right people. So your environment matters. We can learn a lot from a tree. Come on here, somebody. I know I'm talking right. You ain't got to say nothing. Come on here. I said, you ain't got to say nothing. It's just about being rooted. Somebody say, I got to be rooted. I got to be rooted and I got to be surrounded by the right environment if I want to survive. But that's just one of the things that I noticed. That's just one of the other things that I begin to realize that's important about trees. But then as I was going around because I'm in the South, uh, I noticed that there was a lot of hanging moss. I want, can I talk about the moss for a minute? Because there's something that is significant about the moss. A lot of people, they don't understand the purpose of the moss. In fact, there's some people, oh, glory to God, I hear something coming, God. Uh, I hear it, God, I hear it. Uh, there, there, there's some people who believe and think that moss is fungus. Ooh, glory to God. They believe that moss is something that it is not. See, moss is not come on here somebody fungus moss is a plant can I teach just for a moment moss is a plant and the reason why we know that moss is a plant is because it photosynthesizes in other words it creates its own food Ooh, glory to God I hear you God it creates its own food and so moss in essence is very independent but the purpose of the moss, the hanging moss, uh, yeah, 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 it may look uh, like something else, but, it, but it, it's not what you think it is. Because moss has a purpose, and moss knows its purpose. Moss is a plant. Moss photosynthesizes. In other words, moss can take care of itself. But the purpose of the moss is for to soak up all of the rain. So when it rains, uh, uh, the environment still has uh, the necessary moisture, Ooh, glory to God, the necessary nutrients that it needs to survive. So the other plants that are around them that might be bigger, that might be stronger, my God, I hear you, Ooh, glory to God, that might even be rooted. Ooh. Glory to God. That might even be rooted. The moss's purpose is to ensure when it gets hot, when dry times come, uh, when they're not the necessary nutrients, the moss is there to provide for those that might look stronger that might look taller, that might look bigger. They're there so that they can survive during times of drought. Ooh, glory to God. During times of heat, when the heat comes. So, so I want to encourage somebody today because you might be the moss. And even if you're not the moss, maybe somebody you've been looking down on the moss. But I want you to know today that moss has a purpose. And just like the moss has a purpose, don't you let nobody uh, devalue you. Don't you let nobody uh, down you and tell you that you don't have a purpose, that you're not necessary. I want you to know that everything in God's kingdom has a purpose. So I want you to know today, it doesn't matter how insignificant people have made you out to be. It doesn't matter how they have devalued you. Don't you ever devalue yourself. You got to know who and whose you are. You have to know that God has created you with a purpose. We all have been positioned with purpose for purpose on purpose.
purpose. Baby, you better get on purpose and you better know your purpose whether you are a strong oak tree or whether you're moss hanging from that tree. We all have a purpose. Glory to God. I want you to know today this is something to get excited about. Come on here, somebody. You better praise God that you're somebody. You better praise God that God has made you significant. It doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what people do. It doesn't matter what you've gone through. It doesn't matter all the hell you've caused, you've raised. I want you to know today that God has a purpose for you. Woo. Glory to God. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be my neighbor? Oh, come on here, somebody. I say, come on here, somebody. That, that, that's, that, that, it's resurrection season. Uh, this is a, a time to rejoice. This is a time uh, to be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because God has given me a purpose. I want you to know that everything in God's kingdom has a purpose. If there's breath still in your body and if you're listening to this, I hope you do. Because <laughs> if not, you better click me off. Because I'm not talking to no dead folk. Who glory to God. I'm talking to those who have life. I'm talking to those that God has given them hope and given them a purpose and a dream and goals and aspirations. I want to talk to you today. I don't talk to no dead folk. I don't talk to no dead dreams, no dead hopes. I don't talk to dead folk, but I'm talking to those who understand that God has a purpose for your life. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Yeah. I even saw some moss that had fallen. Ooh. There was some moss that even had fallen. So even though that moss had fallen, even though that moss, had, which once upon a time was hanging from that tree, had fallen, it's still <laughs> photosynthesizing. Glory to God. It's still feeding itself. Ooh, glory to God. And it's still providing the necessary nutrients for things yet ungrown. Ooh, glory. Did you hear that, Harris? I heard it. Uh, because there's some seeds that have fallen from some trees and maybe even from some birds. Come on here, somebody. Uh, that have fallen. Uh, but the moss that has now fallen down is now providing the necessary nutrients. Come on here, somebody. Moisture, hmm. and even for some insects. Don't ever underestimate your purpose. You must know exactly who and whose you are. And if you ever have an issue remembering that, I want you to subscribe, like, and share. <laughs> to my YouTube channel because I'm going to remind you of who and whose you are. You need to know that you're more than a conqueror. You're, you're more than what everybody said you are. You're not who your mama said you are, your daddy, who you, you, you are who God says that you are. So why don't you subscribe to my YouTube channel? I want you to subscribe, like, share, comment. Once again, subscribe, like, share, comment. Most importantly, share this message. Let somebody know that there's help, there's hope, and there's healing and you're never ever alone. My name is Darren Al Harris and remember, I'm your friend. In fact, I want you to also go to my website. I have a free ebook that's written just for you. That's at www.darrinlharris.com. Once again, that's D-A-R-R-I-N-L-Harris.com. That's I for individual, E for everybody else. I want you to go ahead, do that for me and sign up for that free ebook. In addition to all of that, you can go to Amazon. I wrote a book called Living Life, Leaving Legacy. Once again, it's called Living Life, Leaving Legacy. And I want you to go ahead and get that book. Go to Amazon and order that book. I promise you, it will bless your life. I promise you, it will give you hope. It will give you strength. I want you to do that for me. My name is Darren L. Harris. Once again, go to my YouTube channel and I want you to subscribe, like, share, and comment. We got some great videos there. I want to be a blessing to you. God bless you. God keep you. Oh yeah, don't forget.
subscribe and also hit the notification bell we got some great stuff coming at you once again come on here somebody